Okay, my name is Iglesias. This, this is my aunt Tata. This is my bank. This is my favorite character, Jasmine. This is Lucy. This is Sir Cruz. This is Sir Cruz. This is all my DVDs. The brown. My cops. Lucy cops. This is Linus. This is Linus. This is Bob. This is Casimodo. This is Patty. This is Lucy. This is chocolate. This is chocolate. This is this is my chihuahua. This is my name is Elsie Iglesias. I've uh, been married 32 years. I'm a teacher at TC Robertson High School. I teach mathematics. Um, my son, I have three children. My oldest son, Matthew Iglesias, who's 26 years old, he was um, diagnosed, has been diagnosed with mental uh, handicaps, autism, and some physical handicaps. We noticed uh, after the first month when, when you take a baby in um, to have him tested and vaccinated and all that, they um, took a circumference of his head, the measurement of the circumference of his head, and it hadn't grown after the first month. So then we had some x-rays done, and they told us that was not the sutures that were closing, so um, that it was his brain wasn't growing properly, and he had developed micro postnatal microcephaly. You don't think that anything can go wrong and um, you know, with your child, and your pregnancy is fine, and if something like this happens. Um, in the beginning, it was kind of difficult adjusting to that because you kind of like almost have to um, stop thinking about the child that you were supposed to have, and now this is the child you have. But quickly, I'm pretty much into science and all that, so I pre pretty much went into um, looking at what his disabilities were going to be like and having him tested. And in the beginning, it was tough um, because he was immature, very, very immature for his age and his size. But he's grown quite a bit maturity wise so it's gotten easier believe it or not as he's gotten older well he has expressed on numerous occasions that he wants to live on his own because I think he knows that that's his next step he sees my daughter is going to be moving out and he sees my son is going away to going to college he realizes that his next step is to leave home um, he can't probably live on his own without some supervision so we're looking towards in the future him continuing at AB Tech and continuing working at Goodwill but at some future date, some sort of supervised um, assisted living for him. Because he really, he's, the biggest thing he wants to do is he wants to invite us over to his apartment for dinner. That's what he wants. I'm Tom Rash. I'm the coordinator for compensatory education at Asheville Welcome Technical Community College. We offer uh, a, an educational program for adults with intellectual disabilities. Uh, it is a free year-round program that is run through the community college system uh, and it uh, the program began uh, in the it arose out of a lawsuit that was uh, brought by the arc of North Carolina against the state of North Carolina and this was in the early 70s late 70s and then in the early 80s uh, compensatory education was established and eventually the state decided to run it through the community college system. So you'll find community, you'll find compensatory education programs throughout North Carolina and it is a uh, unique program to North Carolina and I, I think it's an invaluable asset for our state. So my relationship is that from day to day of course I interact with Matthew just seeing him in the halls and um, seeing him at lunchtime and uh, so on and actually I talked to him this morning uh, because he was in the hall and he was uh, talking to another student I just walked by him and said hey and uh, talked to him for just briefly but uh, he uh, of course, I'm involved with this scheduling of his classes and uh, everything that's entailed in that. But more than that, you know, it's just a sort of a personal relationship that I have with all the students and get to know them as individuals. Uh, and of course, Matthew is doing, I think, quite well in our program. Uh, shown a lot of progress academically and socially. Um, I'd say 
significant social progress as far as his interaction with other people, which was one of his initial challenges when he started with our program. I imagine it's always been, uh, I mean, he's a great guy, friendly, uh, and uh, just, I think, needs needed a little work on certain interactions with others, and, and I, I think he's such a friendly guy and, and wants to interact with people that the thing that we've worked on is, well, how do you initiate these friendships and how do you let people know that you want to be a friend and and so we're seeing a lot of progress that way but also a lot of academic progress you know he's a he's a bright guy and is doing well and I think overall it's been a very good program for him. You can stop eating at any time. Well what else did you do in school today? Writing. Reading. You were reading? Mm -hmm. What were you reading today? I'm Earth Day. Earth Day? Mm -hmm. What about Earth Day? What's Earth Day all about? Yeah, about keeping the Earth clean. About keeping the Earth clean? Mm -hmm. Really? What else? It's flowers. When they shot, it's it's flower. It's oh, that's the one. That's the flower that smells really bad, right? Yeah. And how often? How often do you do you get to see that flower? We well, get to see it because you you can you cannot put the face in it. It smells horrible. Yes. What does it smell like? It's dead, mutton, dead meat. Dead meat? Mm-hmm. That's disgusting. No. Oh, my God.